Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you how simple it is to make an easel card. It folds flat to go in your envelope, and instead of displaying it on the mantel shelf like this, you will just tuck it into an easel shape. So, take a square card blank, any size you like, and make a fold in the center of the front so that it can fold up like this. Put your glasses on so you can see what you're doing and cover that leading edge with your decorative cardstock, like this metallic gold here. And we're just gonna to top this with a slightly smaller rectangle of patterned paper. Now I'm not going to give you any sizes here because you can obviously use any size blank that you have. But what you do on the front fold, you then repeat on the inside bottom of the card. I'm using a minimum of glue on this speed and I'm just hoping it's not going to fall apart as I continue to make the card. Just make sure that your decorative papers are lined up and square for the best results. So you have your fold on your fold, but then you need something to prop this up with. And this is how you make the base of the easel. You cut a strip of gold card the same width as your card blank and just chop it with a piece of decorative paper, like so. And then use some foam pads to mount this on the card. And you need to mount it at the uh, degree of um, height that you want your easel to come. I mean, you could mount it up the top here. I'd much prefer to have it so that when you close the card, you still see a bit of the base. Try and make sure that's square. That's not square. And then we'll just add in the middle of your card. Gridded cutting mats are really good for judging the position of the center of something. Like so. So that then this acts as a stopper so your card doesn't tilt forward. And then what you just want to do is apply glue to the bottom half of a suitable topper like this. Lay it in the middle of your blank. And glue it down. And then you can just finish the card with other embellishments. I'm just gonna put a couple of buttons on here if I can get my glue to work. And embellishments like this, I would always leave till last because you're gonna allow time for your PVA to set. We'll just pop one of them either side. Don't be disturbed by the amount of PVA that appears to be coming up from that button because the great thing about this kind of glue is it does dry clear. And once it has dried, if it really annoys you, you can just simply pick it away with a scalpel. So there you go. Very easy easel card, easy easel card. And you can see the positioning of this strip makes a difference to the height of your display. Hope you enjoyed that. Come and see us again very, very soon. Thank you for watching. And uh, please look out for more Christmas ideas that we've got coming up on the Graph Channel. Thanks. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by the Craft Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.